So today we're analyzing one of my absolute favorite BWWM couples, black woman, white men, couples, Serena Williams and her husband, Alexis Ahanian. We're gonna talk about what traits make the relationship so inspiring and the gifts that I believe they are adding to the interracial dating community. Serena Williams, Alexis Ahanian, 40, 38. Both American, husband, wife. Easily one of the greatest athletes of all time and the co-founder of one of the greatest websites of all time. All right, that might be a stretch, but Reddit is pretty awesome. These two got married back in 2017 and oh boy, when they did, did this wedding and this entire relationship cause an uproar, which to be honest, Serena was likely unfazed by the criticism because she's been catching criticism throughout her entire career. She's been accused of being too aggressive, too masculine, and at the same time too overtly sexual, too ghetto, too insert insult. And although I do not know Alexis and Serena personally and I do not believe in idolizing celebrity relationships or non-celebrity relationships, here is what I love about these two based on the optics that we are given. Serena Williams is a beautiful and curvaceous woman and she has a very athletic body with significant muscle definition. Her physique certainly stands out from her counterparts and her physique is even different than her sister Venus. And her body type, while being very feminine in certain ways, has caused her to receive a ton of criticism over her career for being too masculine, for being too manly. For many black women, being criticized for being too manly, being too masculine is such a common occurrence. And what I love about Serena and Alexis's marriage and relationship is that Serena was able to find someone to love her as is, which of course, her as is, is a highly talented, highly gifted, celebrated, and very wealthy woman. So her as is is very different from the common woman's as is, but you get what I'm saying. Despite the stereotypical, traditional, and very rigidly defined versions of femininity, or really I should just say version of femininity that is constantly just like shoved down our throats, there are different types of femininity and there are a multitude of expressions of femininity. So for me, what is so comforting about Serena and Alexis's relationship is that even though Serena has throughout her entire career been accused of being too masculine, of having too much of a masculine presence, she was still able to find someone, and to not just find someone, but to find someone who, from what we can see, is a high caliber man who loves her and who sees her as his feminine equal regardless of the stigma and the criticism that the world has placed on her. Own your femininity. Please feel free to express it, for it to change, for it to grow, for it to be strengthened, but whatever femininity you have, own your version of femininity. And to add on to how Serena and Alexis's marriage questions gender norms and gender constructs, I love that Serena Williams is really the breadwinner in that relationship. Her net worth is 210 million and his net worth is approximately 70 million. And you know, 70 million is not chump change. Like 70 million is a very, very laudable and applaudable net worth to have. But you know, 210 million is more than 70 million. And I love this because so many women across races, so many women feel that their financial standing or their ambition or their careers are going to intimidate men or are going to wound the ego of potential male suitors. And 
I feel like that is not your problem. Fixing and soothing their ego is not your problem, it's not your responsibility, and it's not your burden. Of course, you should uplift and empower and support your male partner. However, their inner sense of self is for them to solidify and for them to work on just like your inner self is your inner work to do. Remember, this is what ultimately Serena and Alexis's relationship reminds me of. Real men with real goals, real ambition, and real work ethic want a woman who has those same traits. They want a woman who works just as hard and is just as accomplished as they are. And lastly, something that I love about Alexis and Serena's relationship is the way in which he has defended her vocally against her critics. I love the quickness in which he comes to his wife's defense, but this is what I also love about him. And you know, I've seen him get flat for the way in which he defends his wife, but this is my take on it. I feel that Alexis and the ways in which he has defended his wife is apropos, is appropriate to the harm that was inflicted upon Serena. So here's the thing. Absolutely. Find a man who will stand up for you, who will defend and who will protect you. But also find a man who has the discernment to understand what defense is necessary in what cases. All right, everyone. So I lost my original footage of my outro, but it's all good. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. And until next time, stay safe, be well, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.